Now we all know that Tesla is not the only company that is selling electric cars. Even some of the biggest brands in the world are joining the wagon. In fact, for Joe Biden, Tesla is the only company that he doesn't recognize for its electric cars. Not until Musk allows the formation of unions in the company. But that's a story for another day. One thing is still clear though, General Motors has been making it clear that they aim to be the world's number one electric car producers, but it's clear that Tesla continues to lead this industry. In this video we take a look at how General Motors' competition with Tesla seems to be going nowhere. But before we start, please click on the like button to let us know that you're around. With factories in Berlin and Austin soon to start, there will be a huge production jump at Tesla. This has shaken companies like Ford and GMC. General Motors has focused on producing innovative electric cars, with its Hummer being its latest focus. This is according to GMC chief executive, Mary Barra. Another car up their sleeve is the Chevy Bolt EUV. It has a better market in the electric car industry, and as you might guess, it was built to compete with Tesla's Model 3. Concentrating on its Bolt EV and EUV, it does seem that GM is producing their cars based on Tesla, while avoiding their mistakes. Although GM adopts some of its production strategies from Tesla, there's more to keep up with the EV companies, including its over-the-air software updates and localized production of batteries. It's clear that regardless of many predicting that GM will take over Tesla's market, Tesla remains far ahead of GM, which has failed dismally in its latest EV cars. The bad performance of GM has affected its stock, which has recently seen a flat tire. This is due to a poor perception on its ability to compete in the EV sector, despite them often claiming to have the ability to compete with Tesla. GM is currently operating with a goal to double its revenue by 2030, although many experts believe that by then, the company will be a small company, especially if the world totally moves to EV cars. This is due to the fact that even their engine cars are struggling to keep their heads above water in sales. Morgan Stanley had no choice but to downgrade GM stock. The company has said that it aims to sell about 400,000 EV cars by 2023. This was followed by an investment of $1.35 billion from SoftBank Vision Fund. It's aimed at producing GM self-driving cars, which are set to start during this year. It seems that though critics might be skeptical, GM still believes that they can take over Tesla's EV market. Morgan Stanley has also expressed that Tesla's revenue would surpass that of GM and Ford combined, meaning that even if both Ford and GM were to combine and operate as one, they would still be behind Tesla proving their inability to compete with Tesla, despite the US government supporting the two car brands and not Tesla. This prediction is said to take place between now and 2027. Although hope might be deemed to ever reach Tesla's level in the market, GM has its own positives and its place in the market. It manufactures most of its cars for acceleration, which would benefit both its EV and engine cars. All this is not without hiccups, as the Bolt EV batteries were recalled last year to make sure they were safe. The rush might contribute to GM failure. Finally putting its hard work to the test, GM released the Hummer EV and Bright Drop EV6000 to the public and managed to sell a whooping. Well, just 26 units in the fourth quarter of last year. Saying this was disappointing is a huge understatement. Embarrassing would be more accurate and the marketing of the cars is usually pointed out as the reason for the bad performance in sales. They then moved over to GM best-selling vehicle, which is the Silverado pickup truck, and they produced an EV version of it. GM believes that it's too early for it to be judged as they are still building a name for themselves in the EV sector, also supplying EV-based vans for FedEx and Walmart, hoping to capture the good transportation industry as well. GM CEO Mary Barra has also come out to say that one of their drawbacks is the ability to produce EV faster. This has been something that Tesla has been able to do, despite missing deadlines. This proves one thing, and that is producing EV vehicles is not as easy as some may think, and throwing money at it doesn't really solve the problem. It takes skill and experience. This is why GM has pledged to produce 400,000 EV by 2023. It's not only for the customers, but for General Motors to challenge it and improve its ability to produce EV in record times. The gigafactories that Tesla is building are proof that even if GM were to produce 400,000 cars, they would still be behind Tesla, as one of Tesla's gigafactory promises to produce every 45 seconds. 
GM has however said that by the year 2025, it will be able to build over 1 million electric cars in North America, which will include vans and trucks. It wants to also produce 1 million cars specifically for China. We should keep in mind that GM is trying to transition from engine cars to EV entirely, and there might be obstacles in that growth. However, Tesla's existence might not allow it to reach its goals. GM has been slow but firm in its production of electric vehicles. Taking from its experience with car designs and the design of flexible Ultium battery platform, it continues to produce more pickup trucks, although it covers most of the car model ranges from passenger cars to full-on trucks. If it manages to capture the truck industry, which Tesla is yet to embark on, it might have a competitive advantage over Tesla in that particular market. This is also if it manages to produce vehicles that are futuristic and solid in its value for money. If it will reach 1 million EV by 2025, it will have to produce about 240 million Ultium battery cells. This is a huge task for them, though they seem brave enough to face it. Their strategy to turn customers' favorite GM vehicles like the Silverado into electric cars might just be what they truly need to make a move to an EV production company, since people already love these cars and would be willing to buy them as electric cars. This might be the reason investors in the brand are still holding on to their stocks in the company. The Ultium platform has helped the company since this has allowed it to build cars twice as fast. This is in hope to catch up with Tesla. Bearing in mind that Tesla is also on its own path of trying to produce cars faster than they already are, evidence of GM ability to produce faster and more efficiently was when they were able to release the Cadillac Lyric SUV nine months earlier than they had to. They will be releasing two more SUV, one of them being the Chevy Equinox which is set to be released in 2023. Its price is set to be at around $30,000. Tesla, on the other hand, has released its future models, which will also be released in 2023. The models include the Cybertruck, which people are already showing excitement about. On top of this, Tesla is also building gigafactories around the world, making their cars more accessible to other markets. This means that even in the near future, it sounds impossible that GM would be able to catch up with Tesla, unless a miracle happens. The market seems more excited with Tesla as opposed to GM internationally. Elon Musk's love for green energy will not make things easier for GM, as Tesla might get to a point where their cars can operate and charge off-grid. All these developments are too advanced for any brand to challenge them, meaning that GM ambition to beat Tesla might be nothing more than just a dream. Now, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.